um, Ma, good afternoon. I came for. Did you knock? Yes, I did. Did I tell you to come in? Um, did I ask you to come inside? I am not sure. I heard something. I, I... Oh, please shut up. You just couldn't listen down. So stupid. How would you know? So when a knock comes on the door, you wait to get a response from the person inside before you can come in. Well, how would you know this? I am... I am sorry. Please, just, just shut up and get out of my office. Wait. Why do you parade yourself? around the school like you own it like your father is the richest man in the school you're the only rich kid in the school huh you gotta go home and tell your lazy mother to teach you some home training because no. you lack it please please i beg you in the name of god don't involve my mom in this and don't refer to her as lazy Please. Oh, she is. She is lazy. I mean, if she wasn't lazy, how is it that she raised such an ill-mannered kid? You can punish me if you want to. If I did anything wrong, you can punish me. But please, don't call my mom names. Wait a minute. Did you just talk back at me? I'm sorry, Mother. Neil. I didn't do anything for me to Neil. Neil! Where are you? Oh, I'll tell you talk back at me. Oh, if you don't get trained at home, if your stupid mother does not give you home training, I will give it to you. Now stretch out your arms. No, this is no Stretch fair. out your arms! Stretch, stretch, stretch. No, I'll just wait. I will. I will do it, just wait! Stretch. I never wake. Why did you have to break my heart? Why did you have to go? You've left us in perpetual bitterness. How am I going to survive this? Tell me. How? How am I going to survive this?
because the power of that is more powerful than the power of love. Rest well, my queen, the angel of my life. You will always be in my heart for all eternity. Now it's been two years. We're supposed to be strong. Daughter, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. You know my mother likes to see me like this, right? Why did she leave us? Why did she go away from us? You don't have to say so over again. I mean, for the past two years, we've been crying, we've been mourning her. She didn't come back. Crying and doing all these things will bring her back. So all we need to do is to be strong for ourselves. Please. You're a very strong man. And you're the best dad in the world. You know one thing? You deserve to be happy. Always. Okay? So please chill out. something something that will distract you a little bit maybe go out play a game go watch a football match with other men and friends you think it'll help you think so yes okay i'll do just that what do you have there oh yes i was coming to show you my results from my work. Just as expected. <laughs> Always excelling in my colors. Thanks so much, Dad. And thanks for making Daddy proud. Thank you. Now it's time. Now come and freshen up. Mm. Oh my God, Dad, you're ready. I'm your dad. And so, <laughs> she didn't have to let me carry you. She said, Peter, don't carry me. I'm heavy. Sorry. It's fine. Check out. Oh my gosh, I'll say you forgot. Okay. Hello, madam. Hello. Welcome, sir. Um, sorry, I, I, my, my name is Richard. I got a phone call that. Say that there was an accident and my wife was was was, was, she was brought here. Please, can I see her? Um, sir, all the little, little baby survived. Others have been taken to be more. Hey, hey, my wife, my wife. You want to calm down, sir? I want to see my wife, please, 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 my wife. I want to see my wife. <laughs>
gifts. Today now, calm down. Yes. yes. Um, did you do anything wrong to our teacher? Do you she out around you surprise me? I reported her to the principal for missing all her classes last week. She was just sitting down in her office, getting drunk. Like, how can a teacher, a teacher, walk into the class and she's reeking of alcohol? I'm not comfortable with the way she out towards you. What? The best part is, I don't feel it again. Everything she's been doing to me has been making my skin thicker. And very soon we'll be done with these exams. We'll never see her again. Man who told the lady that he lives in Chicago, in England. <laughs> you know, or the lady who said, no, she can't drink shawarma because she does not like, does not like that type of wine. Shawarma is not wine. Shawarma is not the type of wine. I was like, imagine two liars in love. Oh, that's exactly what it is. Perfect fit for each other. If <laughs> you ask me. And you're expecting to live happily ever after. Oh yeah, they will. In life. <laughs> after all the lives. <laughs> you know, I haven't loved this much in a very long time. Like, as a matter of fact, I I barely even laugh. You know, ever since I lost my late wife. But you have really, really cracked my ribs today. Almost as if you're like a, a relief pill for me. Like a happy pill? Yeah, happy pill. You know, I actually love that nickname. Pill. Happy pill. Really? Look at that. Okay, yeah. pill. That's what I it is. Happy pill? That one is pill. Yeah, thank you. Well, for everything, for allowing me to steal your time, for making me laugh to the point where I almost busted my ribs. <laughs> it's okay, it was nothing. I can always do that again and again and again. So, um, tell me, how's your tomorrow like? Yeah, some more pills, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. I can clear my day for you. Yes, of course, I can clear my day for you. Yeah, we have something to celebrate there. Yeah, well, we have an amazing time. <laughs> yes, of course, I'll catch you later, right? Good night, good night, good night. Bye. Yeah. Hello, Betty. <sighs> Hi, Chipmunk. Mmm, bye. That is so cheerful. So, tell me, what's going on? Oh. Who were you talking to on the phone? A friend. And she happens to be very, very funny. <laughs> a she? Oh, yeah. Wow. Who is this she that, that is putting smiles on my father's face? I'd like to say thank you to her. 
Well, eventually, when she comes around, when you get to meet her, you will get a chance to say thank you. Definitely. <laughs> By the way, what did you have for dinner? Well, I'm seeing a made pasta. It is super delicious. <laughs> Actually, she served yours. It's in the kitchen right now. Well, too bad I'm not hungry. I just want to go upstairs, freshen up, and sleep. Oh, I'm okay. Hungry. Yeah, I'm just Let's watching go. TV. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Why are you saying really? This, this is the new. Tell me. So what happened there? Uh. This is becoming too much. You need to tell your dad about it. About Miss Fina? Mm -hmm. Come on. It will be a waste of time. Waste of my dad's precious time to call him to go to that school because of that drunk. Come on. Time is money. So you're going to let her treat you like an animal? First of all, I'm not an animal. And I will not waste my time because of that lazy drunk. She's not my problem. My problem now is a way to make my dad happy again. He seems to be sad these days. If you're enjoying a lot, if it was me, or make sure I tell my dad to shut down the whole school. Because of a drunk. Mm -hmm. A poorly paid teacher. Yeah. Please forget about that one. Look, let me tell you. My father cannot walk up to her. Oh, you know what? I'll call you back in a minute, okay? I need to talk to my daughter. Alright, take care. Bye. Lady is dropping on daddy. I'm sorry, I just walked in. You were making a call. <laughs> <laughs> she makes you happy. Why not you invite her over for lunch one of these days? You know? Well, I. I think it's rather too early for that. So early to bring someone who makes you happy closer? I just don't think I'm ready for it yet. I mean, we don't want to mutate any emotions. Oh, what is wrong with that? Besides, this house is too boring. Just the both of us in it. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, but you know, Daddy has to take things slowly, huh? Daddy doesn't have to take things slowly. In fact, taking the story is the best. That's what I'm uh, advising you. Just invite her over for lunch slowly. Call her on phone slowly. You understand? That's better. Look, do what makes you happy. So if the lady makes you happy, I want her around. I'll think about it. No, don't think about it. Do it. Yes, I want her closer. She makes you happy. Do what makes you happy, Dad. Do it. Okay, you win. Alright. Um, I'll invite her for dinner this weekend. Yay! I can't wait to see her how beautiful she is. I mean, before my dad could say she likes someone, he really likes the person, right? Oh, she's amazing. You're definitely going to like her. Of course, my dad likes her, so what am I waiting for? Good one. <laughs> Good one. <clears throat> so Happy birthday! Oh my god, you remember! There you go! Uh, you remember! Happy birthday to you, my own remember. <laughs> I wish I could do more than this. <laughs> That's too much. Thank you, mm, my love. You're welcome. Oh, it's simply the best. You wanna see the cake? Yes. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> Oh my god, this is so amazing. 
Oh, happy birthday to you. I absolutely love it. Okay, well, this is for you, Lugo. Oh, so we will be Happy birthday, Fina. Fina. <laughs> Good morning, Auntie Tina. Ooh. Thank you so much. Can I sit now? Okay. Do you know where my dad is? He was few minutes ago. He left to where? I mean, he's supposed to be the one to take me to school today. He called the cab. He's waiting outside. He called the cab man. Mm -hmm. That means I won't go to school today. Oh no, you will. I'm guessing he had something very important to do. Something more important than taking me, his daughter, to school. I never said that. You know, he woke up in high spirits today, and we should be happy. He's getting back to his old son. So, so. What did you say to the principal about me? What did you tell the principal about me? I didn't say anything to the principal. I haven't even seen her today, so... Why are you lying? Why would I lie? If I lie about this, it would be a cheap lie because I don't know gain nothing. I'm telling you the truth. I haven't even discussed you with anyone this week. Because I've been so busy with my exams. So why didn't you bring me a birthday gift like your other classmates did? I totally forgot what you gave to me. I'll get you something tomorrow, maybe. You didn't remember or you didn't want to get me a gift? I just said I didn't remember and I promised to get you something tomorrow, so... Ma, please, I want to go back to my class. It's almost time for mathematics and I can't miss it. Okay, so what I'm saying here is not important. No, it's very important. It's, in fact, it's more important than math. But please, whatever you're saying is important, very important. But please, you I know have to... what? I am going to punish you for lying to the principal. I didn't say anything to her. Let me, let me see you. Mom, please, I beg you. Let me see Come here. Mom, I didn't see you. Oh, you think I'm playing? You think I'm Let me see your hand. Mom, this is my eye Let me see your hand. Oh, I think I'm playing with you. You think I'm stopping me? Oh my god, why does she hate you so much? See, June, you need to tell your dad about it. If you don't, I'm coming to your house to tell him. No, 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 please. You know how emotionally drained my dad is. I don't want to ruin his mood now that he's coming back to normal, please. Oh god. Don't worry. Miss Fina can win. She can just go. She can just walk away with fucking conscience. Don't worry. If she has blind your eyes like this, okay, you just let her walk away. Well, it didn't get to that point. It didn't get to the point. Just stop talking about this. Let's go to the school thing. This is getting worse. <laughs>
<laughs> you look magnificently gorgeous. I do? Yes, you do. Well, it's my special day. Yeah. And I'm hanging out with a special man. So I had to show up something special. Thank you, darling. Let me just have a seat. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Happy birthday once again. Thank you. You're most welcome. So tell me, what exactly do you want for your birthday? Huh, is that a trick question? No, of course not. It's an open check. Well, are, are you ready for the filling in? <laughs> you just tell me exactly what you want. And believe you me, I will make the magic happen. As long as it is uh, easy. Within your means, sir. Within my capacity. Okay. Well, what I would really like for my birthday is to see you every day. Spend every day with you. Wow. Be part of your every day. That's the sweetest thing anyone has ever said to me. Really? I'm so glad that I found you. You kind of bring a little joy into my life. Thank you very much. Come sir. So tell me, what is it you want to say to me? Sorry, uh, pardon my manners. Um, would you like to eat anything in particular? You know, uh, I already spoke to them ahead of time. Mm -hmm. they, have, uh, they have local delicacies, they have international delicacies, they have uh, Chinese, they have Italiano. It all depends oh. on what you want. We don't even have a buffet. <laughs> right? No, I'd have it so much. You know what? Then we can go home for it. We can eat so nice special home cooked meal are you sure about that yeah <sighs> homemade food mm. that's quite impressive i think i like the sound of that okay <laughs> yeah so we go home then after this i feel like it's it's kind of hot i don't know if you'll love to go swimming with me i think i'd like to take a dip with you that's an amazing invitation. Mm -hmm. but sadly, I am not much of a swimmer. <sighs> How about you go shopping instead? What a shame. Shopping? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shopping sounds good. Yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Right after that, we can go see my daughter. Okay. Great. Sounds like a plan. The plan it is. It's not what I thought. Doctor, is it that serious? I can't tell until we conduct a proper examination. Hmm. Trust me, it doesn't look good. Hmm. Okay, okay, fine. Please, since you're here already, Doctor, can you just help drop us at the hospital? Please. Okay, but you have to make it snappy because I have another appointment. Okay, no problem. Let me just quickly get her. All right, let's do that. Thank you. So, it's time for her to go back to my place and have a good meal. Yeah. Very inviting and um, yummy idea. Okay. But I thought we'll be doing the same at my place. Especially considering the fact that my daughter can't wait to see you. Oh, that. 
So how about we do that tomorrow? Okay. Tomorrow is not bad. Mm -hmm. The only issue is my daughter will definitely have my head. I mean, she's been on my case for a long time now that she wants to see you. And she has a special package for you. So, would you rather I am headless? <laughs> well, anything for you. Okay. So, we can go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Careful. This is where I leave. I just hope it matches your taste. Are you kidding? <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. I love it. I'm humbled. I'm glad you like it. So, where's your daughter? Oh. I cannot wait to meet her. Yes, she's actually supposed to be out. Um, angel! My uh, angel! Uh, Auntie Peter is uh, here to see you. Uh, okay, they just come out to Where? Where did they go to? Okay, they look very good. Alright, no problem. I'll, I'll handle it. Bye, Auntie. Welcome. Thank you. Hello, Tina. Where are you and where is my daughter? You mean the house is locked? Well, I don't have my key with me. You should have known that I returned home. Why did you lock the house? You thought I had my key. No problem, that's fine. I'll, I'll call you when I need you, okay? Alright, it's fine, it's okay. I'm sorry, uh, apparently the house is inaccessible. I don't know. She locked the house onto the key with her. She thought I was in my own key. Oh, I see. Uh, it's okay, baby. We can go over to my place you know, when we get back. Your place? Yeah. Are you sure about this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 100%. Oh, that sounds like a fantastic idea.
on a hoodie at least. What was your eyes? What's this? Um, Tina! Huh? Who did this to my daughter? Um, so she came back and. I said, What happened to my angel? I said, What happened to my angel? It was an accident, yes, it was an accident. But, uh, yeah, but the doctor said that this plaster will be removed. What kind of accident? It was, um, I, uh, I, I mistakenly poked my eye. Yes, with my pen. It, it's not bad, Dad, it's not bad. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I... That was actually why we went to the hospital. I'm so sorry, I hope it doesn't last that much. Nah, not much, just a little. So how was the birthday? I hope you made a birthday fun field. Yeah. Well... She said it's the happiest birthday she's ever had. She was so happy. That's good. I hope she's still coming. You know what? Let me just go fresh up and have some rest, okay? Okay. Sina, please don't tell them anything. Please. Okay, well, oh well, yeah. Go to bed. Is it? Uh, is it? 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 So I'm actually expecting a very important guest tomorrow and um, I just needed to be sure that we have enough groceries in the house. I mean, food stuff. We do, sir. Excellent. So, um, sir, is there any particular dish you want me to prepare? To be honest, I have no idea, but you can just go ahead and be creative about it. Make sure we have a lot of options, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Alright. What about you? Oh, she's missing. When she wakes up, tell her daddy says he loves her. Okay. Have a nice day, sir. And you too, bye. Settle down and collect my greetings. I said welcome. Did you tell your dad about it? Why would I tell my father about it? Why would you tell your father about it? Queen, please. Let's drop this talk about my eyes. I will tell my dad to tell your dad. You would then you cease to be my friend. <sighs> Anyways, <clears throat> I have good news. You don't want to smile and know what the good news is. Whatever. So, my father's girlfriend will be coming over for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, and guess what? You're invited. Ouch. Sorry, I'm so hard. Sorry. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> Yeah, and I'm so happy because finally I can share things with someone when she comes. After the lunch, I'll sit her down and I'll tell her a lot of things. So I'll be, I'll be so excited. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. 
No, you, you don't understand. I mean, you have your mother all to yourself. You don't understand. I anything. understand. Okay, explain to me. What do I mean? You don't understand. You have your mother and father completely. You don't. I do. You look like an estate somewhere. Yes. Come on, put on something casual, not this. Well, you're the one that said I should always look good. Oh, well, oh. this is your house. She should be the one trying to look beautiful, extra beautiful. Yeah. What's wrong with the way I look? <laughs> Dad. I was looking dashing. You're looking what? No. You're looking like someone was <laughs> Alright, fine. You know what? I'll just go find something else to change to. Please, and this time a little bit more casual, not the suit and shoe that makes you look like an usher in the church. June. Yes, that. Sorry. And this time a little bit more casual, not this. Do away with the suit. Alright. Come on, let's go get this. No, I will finish this off. You will get it. Don't worry. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so one dress should make it out of this bunch. Oh. Very sexy and beautiful. Something that befits the day. Ah, I want to stand out. Something amazing. Ah, should I do right? Sets eyes on me, he'll be blown away. for the day. Oh, everything is set, sir. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Where's June? She went to push it. Alright. She's the one.
Oh, Tina. Tina, please uh, we'll go upstairs and get me my phone, okay? Hurry up. Okay, thank you, huh? Dead serious. See, I am going to, I'm going to make beautiful pictures okay. and I'll transform them into a canvas portrait and I'll hang them in my bedroom. Come, come on, stand by the flower. <laughs> That's the only canvas portrait. Why don't you make your pendant and, and put it on your neck? <laughs> You're sworn to crack my ribs. You know what? Yeah, stand here by the flower. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, just a minute. Oh, this is it. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, madam, just, just stay right here. Don't worry. I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> you never feel to crack my ribs. So that's a madam like pose. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, it's what you asked for. Okay, you know what? Just give me any, any, yeah, nice, any nice pose this way. Let's just say, I know what I want. <laughs> Wait a minute. You know what you mean? Yeah. Well, are you just using my company to replace the memory of your wife? What's that company? Yeah, that's, that's what it seems like. Are you just using it to catch clues? How would you say such a thing to me? How come you never said the words to me, I love you. How come you never told me that? You never say it to me, why? If you love me, isn't it something that would be so easy to say? How come you've never said those words to me? If I don't love you, why do I kiss you every day? Oh, I see. Okay, so that is now a yardstick to prove that you love a person. Wait, I need to understand. Am I not worthy of your love? Am I not beautiful enough? Huh? Am I not a speck? So, Auntie Tina, tell me how do I look? Aren't you a little bit overdressed? Dress. I don't understand. What's wrong with what I'm putting on? I never said something was wrong with what you were putting on. All I'm saying is, it's not looking too casual. <sighs> okay, what do I do now? Hmm. Wait. Why are you guys so excited about this visitor? I thought she said she's not a government official. Well, she is not a government official. But this is the lady that always puts smiles on my dad's face. It's only fair that we treat her like a special person. Don't you think so? Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. I just hear my dad's voice laughing or something. Where is he? Oh, she's outside. She's here? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm coming. Let me see her. No. Go back upstairs. Take off the shoes. Wear something more comfortable. Oh, please. Auntie Tina, you know, let's, let's, let's try to deal. I will just go outside, see her just for two minutes. 
go back upstairs and change. How about that? Just go upstairs. Take off the shoes first, please. Come on, Auntie Tia, let me just see her. Okay. Why do you feel so far? It's okay. Thank you. Kina, please, we start them very good. I'm happy that we're here today, okay? Please. How do you know? If I was your late wife, would you not be apologizing to me? Please. Please, with all due respect, let's, let's not talk about my late wife, okay? And I don't want that bone to go to the bottom of again. You see, that's the problem. That is exactly the problem. Care so much about a dead woman when you have a living woman standing right before you. Enough, Vina! What does come over you? Why do you have to talk about my late wife? Why? Let's see. Right now. Thank you. Stop it. Well, we haven't fun. It was amazing till now, and you suddenly just switch, and I don't even know why. Because of someone you cannot see anymore, you cannot touch, you cannot feel a dead person. You raise your voice at me. Stop. 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 Come inside. Dad, what exactly happened outside? Nothing happened, okay? You will let her step out of the house if she didn't do something terrible. So tell me, what did she do? She compared herself to. You know what? Never mind. I'm fine. Let's, let's just. I, I, I guess you mentioned that. Yeah, she did. I mean, why would she? But Dad, sometimes you just you just have to ignore some things. Give me a minute. Where uh, are you going? Dad, she's gone. How could you let her go? Dad, you know, sometimes you need to tell someone you love not to say the things you don't like. Who loves her? This guy is not even running after me. I said too much. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I should not have said all that. Well, it's okay. He loves me too much. If I give you a few days, he'll come running after me. Do you want me to dish out some food for you? No. I am not hungry. Thank you.
Ça aussi se fera dans ce couple. Why did you let your mouth run faster than the tap? Kai, why didn't you just calm down and enjoy the beautiful moment? No, you must use your mouth to spoil your fortune, always. Look at me now. Back home, just down and I left, I'm back home already. Where is she? Is she beautiful? She's not here. She didn't come. She came, but... Is she beautiful? I didn't get to see her. She left before I could even come downstairs. What happened? I really don't know. I, I don't know what transpired between them. But she just left. She didn't even come inside. She didn't. Oh, God. Maybe she has spoken about your mom or something. I think so. The thing is, I'm not happy. Because now, my dad is going to go back to his terrible mood. And I don't like it when it's like that. Where is he? He's just been walking around the house. I don't like this swimming.
I have fallen for this guy. I'm in love. I can't let him slip out of my hand. I need to see him. And I need to see him right now. My dad. Mm. He should be outside. I mean. Um, did he eat something? Oh no, he said he's not hungry. He said he's not hungry. Mm -hmm. You didn't do anything about it. Ah. What would you have me do? Come on, you should have asked him if he wanted smoothie or anything that would fill his stomach. Yeah, true. He said he's not hungry. Do you want me to force him? everything given to you to eat. Since you left this house, you've been, you've been sad. Have you even thought about me? Have you even thought about the effects all of this will make on me? I don't like it whenever you're sad. I don't like it. And it's not easy for me, Dad. It's not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my daughter. All I want now is for you to at least eat something, please. Well, I still haven't found my appetite yet. But since you're insisting, I can have some nuts and some yogurt. That's great, and I'll, I'll get it for you. Angel. Thank you so much. Welcome, Dad. Go.
Yeah, my favorite one. Oh my god, I'm so ashamed of myself. I can't even speak to you right now. It's alright. Please, I want to apologize for how I acted earlier on. I'm sorry. I overreacted. I. Please forgive me. It's okay. You are forgiven. Really? Mm -hmm. Just like that? Just like that. <laughs> So what about your daughter? Can I see her? I really want to see her. Yeah. But um, by this hour, she would be fast asleep already. <sighs> Look, I don't mind waking her up right now. Just to apologize to her. I feel so bad that I ruined her hope of meeting me and... I just want to make it up. Yeah, I can imagine that. What do you think? We should try? Yeah, let's go with her. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Is there something I can get for you? Hmm. Well, all I want to stand and let you come in. I don't want anything else. I know. Perhaps I can ask Tina to prepare something for me to eat. I'm a little tired. Well, my dinner looks happy standing right in front of me. Is it as a result of what that wicked teacher did to you? I don't know. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I think you need to see the doctor on your way back from school. I'll definitely do that. Good. So, breakfast is ready. Actually, have you seen my dad? He's, he's in his room. I mean, I was knocking and nobody opened the door. He didn't even answer. He didn't see anything. Oh, he slept 3 a.m. this morning. They? Mm-hmm. The lady later came back last night. Oh, you're serious? Mm -hmm. That means I should go greet her then. Uh, no, mm -mm. no. I said, he slept 3 a.m. this morning. <laughs> Plus, I overheard her saying she was there for the weekend. Uh, that's a good idea, but at least let me just tell them good morning. <laughs> no, please. He slept late. Oh, okay. But I'm sure you don't want to miss school or class today. Yeah, true. I'm already late. Good. So, okay. Bye then. Okay. And don't worry about the breakfast. I'll be in the school cup too. Are you sure? 100%. Okay. Thank Take care you. of yourself. Yeah, thank you. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Yes. Did you forget something? Yes, yes, I forgot something. I'm back. 
So strong, stronger than I thought. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, we, we left through the back door. Where's my daughter? Her driver's outside really over. Oh yeah, where is she? Yeah, here she is. <laughs> so uh this my beloved daughter, June. You and me, so the auntie I've been telling you about. Then is she our guest? Yes, the, our guest. Then can we talk inside? June, you haven't even said hello to our guest. Hmm? Come on. Okay. Dad, inside. I, I think she's probably not. Prepare for this. She okay? But don't worry, she'll come around us. Okay. Just give me a minute. Oh. John! John! You promise me you won't get mad? No, but I won't get mad at all. Just promise me. I will not get mad at you. What's the problem? Then I don't like her. What? I don't like the lady. What do you mean you don't like the lady? You have been praying to meet her all this while. Well, yes. And I've met her. And I'm telling you that I don't like her. Please. Dad, please. Just take her out of this house. And do that immediately. Excuse me, Emma. June! June! Oga, she don't go. What do you mean she don't go? Couldn't you stop her? Oga, you know, tell me, say, make I stop her more. Oh, my goodness. What is wrong with you, Silas? Aren't you living in this compound? Don't you know what is going on here? Abi, Oga, make I define them. Listen, you need to learn how to observe, okay? I'm not just a gate man, you're a security man. Observe what's going on. Now get out of my sight. Thank you, sir.
Vena, I know you are in there. Open this door right now, Vena. Vena, I swear, if you don't open this door, I'm going to break it down to pieces. Open this door right now. Wait. What do you have to say? What did she tell you? Doesn't matter what she told me, okay? That's not important. Now tell me what you have to say. You need to tell me what she said. What did she tell you? All right, fine. She said she remembered my late wife. That's it. It was that it was that it? Yes. That's all she said. Yes. She didn't say anything about me. No. Nothing about you. Now can we go to the house? I'm waiting. Um, look, can we do this some other time? No. Listen, Fina. If we don't do this my way, I'll be very, very upset at you. You might not even see me again, but let's go. I'll bring you back. Let's go. And where are you going actually? This is my car. Oh, yeah. Um, can we make this thing tomorrow? Really? Mm -hmm. Is there a reason you're nervous? Are you afraid of meeting with my daughter? <laughs> Me? Nervous? Come on, no, no, no not at all. I'm, I'm not nervous. I just, I just feel awkward going back there after what happened. How are you Tina! Tina! June, your father wants to speak to you.
Come on June, open up, please. Did you inform her that I sent for her? Miss Fina, so you had the ghost. You had the temerity to come back to this house. After everything. Didn't you tell my father everything that happened? So you have just stop all this anger. We can be friends now, okay? We can be friends. We can be friends. Do friends hurt each other? No, tell me, do friends hurt each other intentionally? Look, we can start being friends now, okay? I will never be friends with a wicked person. Look at you! You're so heartless and wicked! Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. What is going on here? The two of you know each other? Yes. That this is my school teacher. She's so wicked, she's heartless, and guess what? She's also a drunk. Wait, what? Yes! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> now this is too much. Look, if you don't want me to get married to your dad, just say so, okay, and stop all this. Stop all this. You know, you never told me you were good at pretending to. So apart from being wicked and heartless, and also being a drunk, you're also a liar. All right, enough of all this. Good to all of you. Jump off this right now. Listen to me carefully. I know you don't like her. It's quite obvious. But why would you cook up stories against her? Tell me, I am not cooking up stories against her. That lady is my teacher, and she, she's the one that inflicted this injury on me. You know, I never knew you could be so mean. Dad, didn't you hear what I said? She did this to my eye. That particular Miss Fina did this to my eye. I'm no, sure. No, no, that's not what happened. You told me it was an accident. Have you forgotten? Well, it was not an accident at all. The truth is, I did just want you to waste your time. I don't think she's worth your stress and your energy, so I just didn't tell you about it. No, how am I supposed to know you are telling the truth? I am telling the truth. Come on, Dad, I'm your daughter. You lied before. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, come on, I just tried to to save the situation. But now that she's closer, you don't even know much about her. Did you know until today that she is a teacher? No. Go to your room. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I would never intentionally want to hurt that child. You know, I would. I, I swear, I swear, I didn't do it intentionally. I wouldn't want to do that. Punish me, please punish me. If punishing me would mean that you will forgive me at the end, please just punish me. I love you too much. I love you so much, and I wouldn't do. I wouldn't want to do anything. 
hate to disappoint you. I'm sorry. Did you apologize to her? Yes, yes, I did, I did. I did, but she was too angry to forgive me. Alright. I understand. I guess I'll have to talk to her about this. Okay. Alright. You need to come now. I'm sure you didn't it. I want to go down and I didn't know what to do. You need to come now. You really don't need to come now. Come on, get up. Marry me, Please, marry me. But, but what about your daughter? I think I can take care of my own daughter. Plus, she doesn't make decisions for me, right? Right. Please. Will you be my wife? Yes. 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 I love you. I love you. <laughs> We can go to the registry and make this official. I guess. June's best friend, Queen, if she was telling the truth or not. I don't need to do that. June says she will leave the house if you marry Miss Fiona. Miss Fiona really dealt with her. She said that? Yes. Where is she? She's at the back of the house. You know, there's this saying that goes. So error is human. That please. Please don't give me that quote. So error is human. Wait, look at my eyes. Look at it. Guess who gave me this injury? Miss Fina. Yes. She has been beating me and treating me like an animal in that school. And you're telling me to err is human. I know that it's been that bad and I'm sorry for everything. I take the blame. <laughs> Darling, if you remember, your daddy has been in depression for so long now. Every single day. 
Ever since I lost your mother. This is the only time happiness has come back. I don't care anymore, Dad. You can choose that over me if you love me more than me. No. June. June, come on. Forgive you. I apologized and I begged her, but she won't even budge. I have to leave. I can't break the bond between you and your daughter. So I have to leave. <sighs> You need your daughter more than you need me. Please. Don't walk away from me, please. Stay. I need you to understand that I care about her so much. And I, I, I want you to find a way to learn to accept her. I will never accept her. Never. You must know. I asked her to marry me and she has accepted. What? Then how can you, how can you ask a Jay-Z girl to marry you? Enough of that. What has come over you? How can you call my wife to be a Jezebel? That you know you can shut me up. Well, you can never change my mind. But let me tell you this. The moment I find out that you really want to marry her, I will leave this house for the both of you and I will not come back. So choose me or your Jezebel of a wife. Do you know how rude you sound to your father right now? Well, if that's what you want, then so be it. Dad. Fine then! Fine! Tina. I know my daughter listens to you. I want you to talk to her on my behalf. I need you to tell my daughter how much I love her. And also how much I love Auntie Pina. Fina has come to fill a gap that I never ever imagined would ever be filled in my life. Sir, I have tried to talk to her twice. 
but she kept recounting her ugly experience with Miss Fina. Did she tell you that Miss Fina bought a special cane for her even when she knows the school prohibited? Did she tell you that Miss Fina beats her every day? Did she also tell you that she almost got her blind just because she didn't get her a birthday present? That's pure wickedness. My goodness. Can go. No, we are not. You know, how many times did you plug my daughter? How many times? Once, Don't you dare lie to me! You plug my daughter every single day. You even bought a special cane for her. Just to punish her every single day. Who does that? How can you be so mean and wicked to her? She's just a child. She's a little girl. Oh, really? So you're going to take your daughter's word over mine? Oh, is this what it is? Father supporting daughter? Really? You're not even in much. I think we need to put a hold on this. Baby, stop. What do you mean? Babe? Babe! Okay, June, I understand how you feel. But you can't just leave your father's side because of a woman. Well, I cannot stay here either when she's around. <sighs> Tina, are you even listening to yourself? What the hell are you talking about? You don't know where my daughter is? Sir, I couldn't have stopped her. Hmm? Listen to me carefully, Tina. If anything happens to my daughter, if anything happens to my daughter, you will be held responsible. I'm sorry, sir. But if anything happens to her, then it's on you. Excuse me? You don't do respect, sir. It's your fault if anything happens to her. Why would you choose a woman over your own child? Tina, do you realize who you're talking to? I know you'll fire me after this, but at least that will give me peace of mind. That know you married a woman that treated your daughter like an animal. Eh? If you like, ruin your home. I'll tell you what, Tina, you guessed right. Today will be the last day that you will be in this residence because you are fired.
Tem que nos tem um boi. Everything with her. Please, let's go home. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm still your dad. But I'm never going to see her in the house again, I promise. told me was the absolute truth and I thank you for that please do not go we still need you in our home can you take your bag back inside please Please don't do this to us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, no. Leave my house. I don't want to ever set my eyes on you again and do not turn back as you go. No, turn around. <laughs> I said turn around. Richard, please. Turn around if you don't want to regret this. Go, now. Please. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. 